Java is everywhere. Let's take a look at Java Enterprise Edition software, which I'll now talk about as JEE. Now there's a few parts to JEE, and we'll be looking at web applications specifically. So you have servlets as the front end with JSPs, Java Server Pages, and they have JSF, which is Java Server Faces. Then there's EJB3, Entity Java Beans, which have Session Beans, Message Beans, and then there's Java Persistence API, or JPA, and that connects to the database. Now those last two are kind of combined, but I'm separating them out for clarity. But before we go into what each one of these does, let's look at how you design your web app. Okay, so the design we're going to look at is MVC, which is Model View Controller. And the controller has a handle or con control <laughs> over view and model. View is what the user sees, and model is really like the business logic, which is um, how to update things, when things should be updated, uh, how things are stored on the database. It's really the back end, if you will. And the controller is the go-between. And the user will usually go to the controller and it'll deal with the model, how it has to, and then it'll give the user the view. And so that way, why do we do this? That way, everything's separated. All the little parts are separated for the programmer. And if they need to change the model, how something operates, it's not a big deal. And if they need to change the view, it's not a big deal. It doesn't affect how the back operates. You can change each part on its own. You can add new parts, remove parts, and it's very compartmentalized, or software engineering says loosely coupled. So that's why we use MVC, Model View Controller, and that's usually the standard nowadays. So I know you're thinking, how does that JEE technology and software help me develop this MVC? And what does it have to do with anything? These are seemingly two different things. But each technology is specific to each part, really. And there's these things that JSPs, Java Server Pages, that do views. Servlets usually do are controllers. And the model is usually done by EJB. Now, you don't have to do it this way. But I'm sure you're asking, what's a JSP at least? Well, these Java Server Pages really are pretty much servlets. So why not just use a servlet? Well, theoretically you could. There's no reason you couldn't. But there is a slight problem, and that's that JSP are really, they kind of look more like HTML with specific code, and it's a little bit more than HTML because it can do everything a servlet can, i.e. that means Java programming, but it's a lot more user-friendly to look at and debug and see through. And you'll see that as we go on with these tutorials. Now, servlets um, actually could be done by JSP as well because a JSP really is a servlet. And sometimes people do do those. Um, I don't think it's a great idea if you're making a massive system unless everything's going to be JSP and it's just going to be almost like HTML pages. But once you start involving, involving models and other things, I think it's a good idea to lay out your web application as shown here. And EJB are usually um, plain Java objects, you know, getter and setters. Obviously, it's a little more complicated with session beans and, and all these other things, message beans, and we'll get to that in due time. But this really is the layout, and this is what you use each component primarily for in your web app, and this is really just an introduction. If you like these videos, rate them, comment them, and uh, hopefully I'll get around to making a lot more of them, because I don't see too many on YouTube. Thanks for watching. What will be possible tomorrow? You decide.